Hi folks, now that Paul Watson of Sea Shepherd is on the run, I can offer some information. That's me kids, information tone. Over the years, many of you have, were bewildered as to why the Japanese were allowing Sea Shepherd to harass them such as they did. Many saw that as a sign of weakness. Sea Shepherd used it as a vehicle to brag on their exploits. Why we made them go back home without meeting their quota. Why they ended their whaling season early because of us. Now send us some money. Yeah, so we can do battle with those Japanese in the next whaling season. And Sea Shepherd returns and throws the uh, bottles on deck. The paint tried to foul up the propellers. They were doing all that. Well, everybody stood by and said to ourselves, why are the Japanese allowing that to happen? And I kept telling you folks over the years, they are not a stupid people. And they're not. And this proves it. While Sea Shepherd was engaged in all these activities, while the Japanese were uh, maintaining a defensive, pacifist position, they were observing. They were dissecting. They were listening. They were analyzing. That's what the Japanese do. They're not impulsive. They don't jump into something. It may take them a couple of years to do all their analyzing and then put it all together and then from there conduct a method to move forward. But this past whaling season provided them with a treasure that they did not get in the past whaling seasons. Allow me. The captain there's of Sea Shepherd Paul Watson, house arrest in Germany, thinking he's going to go to jail in Costa Rica. Had he gone to jail in Costa Rica, it would not have ended Sea Shepherd's harassment of the Japanese. Sea Shepherd would have continued to say, Why are captains in the Costa Rican jail because of the Japanese? They send us some money. And they would have engaged in campaigns around the world. The next whaling season, Admiral Cabin Boy Peter Helmethead would have led the fleet into the Southern Ocean. We're here to get revenge for our captain being in a Costa Rican jail. Yeah! It would have solved nothing. Had he been in prison in Tokyo, the same thing would have happened. So the Japanese needed to cut the head of the serpent. And the serpent provided them the scissors or the knife to, or the samurai sword in which to do it with. This past whaling season, he's aboard the Steve Irwin, being tailed by a so-called Japanese security vessel. He was so frightened of the fact that he may be boarded and sent back to Tokyo that he sailed back to Australia, left Peter Helmethead cabin boy in the Southern Ocean to continue the illegal work while he sat in safety in Hobart, Australia, rather than to get arrested and sent to Tokyo. So what he did there, he broadcasted to all of Japan that his biggest fear was sitting in a Japanese jail. And the Japanese held on to it when the time was right. They were going to exploit it to get the maximum advantage out of it. And they did it with three words. Three words defeated this organization and cause this man to go on the run. Extradite to Japan. Once he heard the Japanese say that, he ran. He became a fugitive. Wanted on three continents and three countries. So now how does that destroy the organization? <clears throat> they have their charter, their organizational charter, is issued by the state of Washington in the United States Pacific Northwest. It now puts that charter in jeopardy because the head of its organization is a wanted fugitive. They enjoy tax exempt status with the United States Internal Revenue Service. That now becomes questionable because the head of the organization is a fugitive. Who's going to lead their campaigns now and against whom? They don't have this flamboyant captain anymore to lead them into any ocean. Basically, what the Japanese did with those three words, they cut the head of the serpent. And as I keep telling you folks, I've been telling you, 
They're not as stupid people. They analyze, they dissect, they waited for the right moment. And the good captain provided all that to them. <laughs> Three words. Extradite to Japan. Hi, right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless the brilliance of the Japanese tacticians that maneuvered this in such a situation. And I thank God <laughs> I'm good friends with the people of Japan. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>